Hi, everyone, and welcome to Advanced Anatomy and Physiology at Gateway Technical College. My name is Tim, and I'm going to be teaching this class. So I'd just like to welcome you all. I hope uh, you're having a good new year. hope you and your family are all good, health, reading a textbook, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, uh, let's start. This video is an introductory video, just kind of show you how the class is set up. First of all, you got the home page here. And where you want to start is where it says start right here. So that's where we're going to start. And I'm going to show you in this video how the class will be navigated and then uh, some of the subtleties that you need to be aware of. All right. Uh, do me a favor before the first day, make sure that you uh, print off the syllabus that's underneath the syllabus tab. And then um, the advanced uh, AMP um, introduction. I'm recording this right now, and I want please uh, watch it before the first day of class. Also, when I show you how it's set up, um, there's some stuff I'd like you to complete before the first day of class. What I've also done is I set up a test schedule, and this is posted in the syllabus. It's also posted underneath where it says, believe it or not, test schedule. Now, if you're in the blended class, which this video is designed for, I'm also going to upload it to my other classes. The dates for the tests are good for all my classes, except the midterm, excuse me, and the final. And for the blended class, if you're taking the blended class, these dates are correct, all right? And you will take all of your tests except for the midterm and the final at home, and the dates are posted. So it will be available at midnight on the 22nd, and you have to complete the test within this time frame given. If it's not, it will be recorded as a zero. So you essentially have about four days in which you have to complete the test. Now, you don't get four days to complete the test. Each test is timed. And when the uh, test is available, it will give you the amount of time that um, you're allotted to take the test. So be careful. Make sure you look at these test dates and be aware of them. Now, let me show you how the class is set up. First of all, look, I get it. You work, you have families, right? You have things outside of school, right? You're not going to a university and pledging for a sorority or a fraternity, right? You are working and most of you have families. And I get it. I've been here now. It's my 17th year. And I want to help you. But you have to help yourself. And the only way that you can help yourself is by following this little program I've set up for you. If you follow it and you work hard, you will be successful. I can almost guarantee that. But if you don't, if you wait to the last minute to get on this stuff, it's going to end poorly. And there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm asking you to work hard. I will work hard right alongside you, right? I want you to do well. Many things can be said about me. I get it. But this thing is undeniable. You will never hear a student who's had one of my classes who has worked hard say a bad word about me. They know that when they get into clinical, I gave them exactly what they needed to be successful. And they don't know it at the time because they haven't been in clinical. But when you get to clinical, if you work hard, you will be glad you took my class. I'm a nurse, so I know what they're going to expect you to know. All I'm asking is that you give me your very best effort. And in return, you will get my very best effort. All right? 
Okay, let's look. The class is divided into two modules. So click on module one and it's divided up into weeks. Right? So click on the first week. And what it will tell you to do is it will tell you what you need to do at home and before you come to class. I've also put together some cahoots that will help you review the material. Now, just so you know, this is advanced AMP, not general AMP. So the expectations are much higher. No longer are you going to have to memorize where the patella is. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to understand a process in the human body. And if you understand that process and where that process breaks down, you can predict what will happen to that person. And that's true learning. And all that's going to do is help you. The stuff that I'm going to try to explain to you in this class, I use every single day as a nurse. I run a wellness program for a company in Chicago. and I've been doing it for 26 years. And they pay me very well. And the reason they pay me well is because I benefit that company. If I didn't, they'd fire me, then they wouldn't pay me well. You should write that down. All right? So I know what a, um, education did for my life, and it can do for, a lot for yours, right? So let's do this. You got the AMP introduction. Now watch. I'm going to give you a list of study guide questions, and they're broken up into weeks. So let's look at this. The study guide questions for week one. It's a little small. Timmy's old, just so you know. And also, just so you know, I have a face that was made for radio. That's why I don't show it in public. Anyways, I digress. Watch. These are the things that you should be able to answer in detail for week number one. And watch. This is important. The test that I give you is based off you knowing in detail the answers to these questions. These questions are not one word answers, just so you know. They are detailed. And I expect you to know that stuff. And look, if people couldn't do it, I wouldn't have been here 17 years, right? They would have got rid of me. People can do it. They've done it for 17 years, and they will continue to do it. People and students who are motivated, they're going to get something out of this class, and I'm going to lead you in the right direction. All you have to do is follow the program. So what are you going to be studying for the first week of class? These six questions, and you're going to give me detailed answers. And if you understand the detail, then you will do well on the test because I'm going to ask you specific detailed questions about each study guide question. Now, watch, because I'm cool like that most days. What was the first question on the study guide? Well, let's go look. State the three fundamental principles of the body. Hmm. Look. I have a video called The Three Fundamental Principles of the Body. And I even labeled it that it's going to be the answer to question one. So you need to know that. What's the next question? Let's take a look, see. Define homeostasis and explain in detail two examples of negative feedback and two examples of positive feedback. Watch it. 
look what I have for you. Videos. Three negative homeostatic mechanisms. Now watch. There's one homeostatic mechanism in there called controlling blood sugar. I'm going to be asking you specific questions about that. And then there's how the body handles itself when the temperature goes up or the body temperature goes down and no specifics. Then look, uh oh, positive feedback mechanisms. And the two positive feedback mechanisms I give you are the sympathetic nervous system. Watch. If after watching this video, all you know is the sympathetic nervous system is involved in preparing the body to run or fight, it's going to go poorly for you. I want you to know the details of it. Same with childbirth. You need to know oxytocin, where it's released from, why it's released. Those are the details. And I hate to do this. No, well, not really. Anybody? Because the devil is wait in the details. You need to know the details. Again, one more time for old time's sake, this class is called advanced AMP, not general, right? You need to know the details. So each week is set up like that. It will give you videos that I've made so I know exactly what's in the videos, so I know exactly what I'm going to test you on. If you know those videos and you understand them, you will do well. Now, some of the videos that I put up are simply prep videos. They will get you a better understanding of what I need you to know. So make sure you watch them. And every video answers a specific question on the study guide. So how are you successful in this class? This is what you do. Number one, you got to be motivated. I can't help you. Motivation is internal. I can encourage you. I can try to inspire you, but I can't motivate you. So if you're not willing to work hard and learn this stuff, nothing I can do or say is going to make a difference. But if you are motivated and work hard, it's going to be good for you. Look, here's the other thing. You don't have any free time anymore. If you ain't working, taking care of your family, or sleeping, you're on this stuff all the time. This is not a sometime thing. It's an all the time thing. So print out the study guide for each unit or for each week. Watch the videos and answer the questions on the study guide completely and thoroughly. And look, because I'm cool like that. You can even email me your completed study guide questions and I'll review them. And just so you know, you don't have to do this because all that does is mean more work for me. But I'm willing to do that. And I will look at them and I will say, look, you need more information on this one. Or, yeah, you got it. It's good. And if you do that and you follow this little program that I have for you, once you, I have given you the seal of approval, yep, those are the answers that I'm looking for. You study the study guide answers and you will do well. That's the program. That's exactly the program. Watch. If you do this, it's going to end poorly. If the test is on January 22nd and you email me, at 11.37 on January 21st, your study guide questions, I delete the email. Do you understand? That means you didn't prepare and you are, you know, 
living on a prayer. What you need to do is you need to be on this. So you need to email me these study guide questions three to four days before the test begins because you need to make sure that you're studying the right stuff. And again, the devil's in the details. So I'm looking for details. And if you understand the details, you can, you'll do well. That, I mean, that's all I can tell you. So follow that program and be on this all the time. And I know what you're used to. And you need to not be used to it anymore. What you're used to is reading a couple chapters the night before the test and answering some Mickey Mouse questions and doing well. It will end poorly for you in this class. You're going to be taking care of people and taking care of their lives, their health. And this is the stuff that you need to know. And how do I know you need to know this? I'm a nurse, and I know what they're going to expect you to know in nursing school. So get on it. I'm giving you a perfect program for success. If you follow it, you will do well. Students in my general class who followed the program did well. It won't change in advanced. It will just require more work because I'm expecting more detail in advance. And look, I'm not trying to be rude or nasty or anything. I'm just laying it out there for you, right? And when you get in the clinical, look, they don't care. And the reason they don't care is because they know it, that if you don't want to do the work, then all they'll do is they'll punt your fatty asses out of there and find someone who is willing to do the work and let you, just so you know, there's plenty of people out there who do want to do this work because you can make a good living as a nurse. So follow the program and it will be okay. Now, here's the other thing. Don't email me until the first day of class. Do you understand what I mean? If you look at this video and you have questions, then bring them to class and I'll answer them. You got me? You know how this is going to roll. I have the test schedule set up. I have study guide questions. You answer the study guide questions and you will do well. The first day of class, we'll go over the syllabus. So I'll cover all the specifics in there. But I wanted to give you this introductory video just as an idea of how this class is going to be run. I really want you guys to do well. I know what an education, again, did for my life, and it can do the same for yours, and I'm willing to help you. Now, if you like this video, then um, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe. Actually, it would probably be a good idea if you did subscribe to my YouTube channel because as I make specific videos, not class videos, but specific videos, um, as you go through clinical, I think it'll help you. All right. Okay. Uh, good luck on a new year and uh, work hard and it'll be okay.